point. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful week so far and I hope you enjoyed your Easter. Uh, I think it's an Easter none of us <laughs> will probably ever forget, for sure. And um, yeah, I just enjoyed celebrating the, the resurrection of Jesus Christ and um, hope that you did as well. Um, I wanted to share um, with you, I had been trying to consider what to do for devotions and I absolutely love to study different people in the Bible and um, just trying to understand maybe um, who they were and how they interacted, especially with Jesus. Um, I find those, those people to be um, so much fun to, to study. Um, so the two people that I would love to talk with you about today are Mary and Martha. And um, these ladies just, I think they're amazing. And um, just try to imagine some of, some of the way they interacted with each other and with Jesus. Um, so wanted to share with you a few stories about them. Um, clearly, Mary and Martha were very different sisters. And um, one thing that was very clear, especially, um, I, I believe Martha was a very, a uh, very hospitable person. And she she knew that Jesus was coming into town and passing by. And and it was a customary thing when travelers came through for people to invite them into their homes. And so when Martha had heard that Jesus was coming, she um, definitely wanted to invite him to their home and, and prepare a meal. And so um, from Luke 10, um, from verse 38 through 42, it talks about this invitation to, to their home. As Jesus and the disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he had said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, why, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all this work by myself? Tell her to help me. Which I think is so funny that she was asking Jesus to help her, get her sister to help her. Um, I think that is just such a funny, a funny thing. Um, she had been so busy making all these preparations for this meal and this guest um, and was probably feeling a little anxious and a little stressed out about all of that and um, you know was even the one who went out of her way to go find Jesus and invite him. Um, but Jesus' instructions to her and Jesus' response to her concern about her sister helping um, I think are especially noteworthy. Um, and I think it's a very important lesson that all of us can really learn from. What he said was, Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. What Mary chose to do in this moment was that she was going to sit at the feet of Jesus, and she was going to talk with him and listen to him. And that was her posture, and that's what was important to Jesus. Um, and so I think that we need to think sometimes about how um, even in our lives, we've had to slow down a bit here these last few weeks, but just uh, even, even being home, I think we can be like this, but certainly not when we're sitting at home, we can definitely be like this where we can just get so busy. And I think stopping and, and listening and being at the feet of Jesus and, and learning from Jesus is, was such a huge priority to Jesus in that moment. And um, I think we need to learn a big lesson because that lesson... Um, was one that, that increased their relationship with him. It increased their faith in him. And later we see um, another interaction with these two sisters and Jesus. Um, in John 11, it talks about um, a, a moment they had a very dear brother. And, and some of you may know this story. For some of you, maybe it's a new story. Um, but they had a brother named Lazarus and he was very sick, like on his deathbed kind of sick. And they had asked Jesus to come and to please, please heal their, their brother. And what happened was that Lazarus died. And um, Jesus' response to this was, was kind of a heads up for them. And uh, when he heard that Lazarus was sick, this is what he said um, in John 11, um, the sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified to, through it. Um, so he told them, 
he promised them that it wasn't going to end in death. Um, and they had to wait and they waited not for a few hours, but they waited, they waited for days and they continued to hold on to the faith that Jesus was going to come back and he was going to, going to perform a, a miracle. Um, finally, when Jesus arrived, um, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Um, Martha wasn't even, didn't appear to even be, be terribly mad. She, she said, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, um, this is in verse 21 of John 11, um, Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. She actually believed that, that Jesus could do anything and, and she had serious, serious faith in him. And Jesus loved Martha and he loved her sister Mary and he loved Lazarus and he comforted them. Um, Martha had a really deep understanding of Jesus Christ and, and, and belief and faith in him as the Messiah. Even at that point, um, she knew the plan of God. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God who has come into this world. Um, her faith was very strong. Mary, on the other hand, she was in the house and she was weeping and she was crying and she was upset over her brother. And while he met Martha where she was at, and he had this amazing conversation about Martha and her faith and her belief in who he was. Mary was at home crying and she was weeping. And Jesus, Jesus met her where she was at too. She was not in the same place as her sister, but he told Mar Martha to go get her and she did. And when Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come who had come troubled. Um, also, I'm sorry, when uh, Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and he was troubled. Where have you laid them, he asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. And Jesus wept. So Jesus did not, um, did not blow that off. He, uh, he met them right where they were. He, he, he showed emotion and he cared for them um, and even wept with them. Um, but he was, not, he was not done yet. He, he was going to do what he promised to do. So in verse 41, they took the stone, they took, a, they took the, away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me. But I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped in strips of linen and a cloth around his face. So Mary, um, I think, deeply grew in her love for Christ through this. And um, clearly in the next chapter of John, John 12, um, again, these ladies made a supper for, for Jesus and, and, and his disciples. And, and Martha was there again serving and, and Lazarus um, was sitting at the table with them. And Mary took a pound of a very costly uh, anointing oil and put it on the feet of Jesus and wiped her hair um, on, onto his feet. And the house, I'm sure, was filled with this amazing precious fragrance. Um, but this this was not um, this was not a this was a, this was not a cheap thing to do and and the value of that oil um, uh, many commentators feel that uh, you know at, at 300 denarii it was about about 30, 300 days worth of, of labor for any worker back then so it was like a year's worth of work um, but Mary and Martha had a deep love and a deep passion for for loving and caring and serving Jesus and a, and a great amount of faith as well. And I think we can certainly learn from their um, relationship with Jesus. Um, so let's pray. Jesus, I thank you for loving us. I thank you for being a God um, that will and, and, and shows us huge, huge power. Um, I pray, God, that um, we will love you and serve you and come to you with wherever we're at um, and 
and that you will meet us where we're at. We praise you for being that kind of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.